There is a region in Italy nestled in the foothills of the Alps where salami making has been carried on for generations. In the New World, there's a place where the climate is similar, perfect for curing meats, where the generations continue that work. This is Volpe Foods, with production facilities located on the hill in St. Louis. It's where the original store opened by John Volpe more than 100 years ago is still serving customers, and where products are still created with passion, pride, and by hand. John Volpe's nephew, Armando Pacetti, began learning the business at age 14. Mr. Volpe used to say that it's not the making of the salami, it's to dry it properly, to age it properly, one of the secrets. His daughter Lorenza is now president of Volpe Foods, leading the company through innovation and expansion while adhering to classic traditions. We'd like to continue to make what we do uh, our core competency, but we'd like to take it to a whole new level and expand it. And I want everybody in the United States to be eating Volpe salami. This is a Midwestern company, right down to the hogs sourced regionally to ensure they're getting the freshest meat. Down in the caverns, under the streets of St. Louis, well, that's where the magic happens. These underground caves are used for drying the cured meats, many of which are hung on the original one-inch dowel rods that came over from Italy. There are specific molds and cultures that are in this facility that give our products a very unique taste and flavor. The whole process of creating cured meats entails months of care, to the point that Lorenzo Pacetti likens it to giving birth. Some of them take as long as a child to, to make. Uh, they're, you know, prosciutto, you're, they take longer than a gestation period. <laughs> um, the, uh, it's just a lot of love. There's a lot of history there. There's a lot of uh, passion that goes into it. It's, it's who we are. It's how we define ourselves. Once dried, the prosciutto is deboned and hand cut, along with the other 300 plus products that are then hand packaged and delivered to restaurants and delis all over the country. While modern equipment is used, it's still the traditional methods, hand cutting, hand salting, hand touched at every point along the way. People want to understand the fact that the Romans perfected this process. The fact that everything that you see here, the technique behind it, predates any deli cold cut that you're going to find in the supermarket today. Volpe Foods turned salami into not only a culinary experience, but a cultural experience as well. After all, where else can you eat food made with the same process the Romans used 2,500 years ago? These things are being served to Caesar. We're not making this up. This has been our story and our heritage for 115 years. Salome made with love and time.